so we've included my squirrel I'm going to copy that and add it into go to and and add link.php let's work in this page a bit so what's going to be passed from our index page is going to be long link so we'll have link equals post long link I'll get there in a moment right this is post because the jQuery function we're using is the post function we could have get there and it would send a get instead of a post but I like using post because it's more secure and what next we need to add it into the table so we have squirrel equals insert into what did we call that table shorten link shorten link space and then we want to insert into it link and time that didn't work out link and time values and open close and then we want to have two of them and then time is going to be an easy one so we'll do that first it's just that <laughs> and then we want to add the link so it's link And that should work okay. So the squirrel should be okay. So we're going to do if squirrel if my squirrel query my yeah my squirrel query squirrel then we want to return one. So. So we want to echo out one if it's okay. If not, we want to echo out my squirrel error. That page should be done and working. So we're going to do if data equals one else. alert we're going to send an alert out saying okay it's all fine if not we're going to send out alert something went wrong And that should now be all fine, so let's go and test it. We're going to shorten google.com. And it didn't seem to work, so we have no errors. Let's try again. And that didn't seem to work, and I know why. When this is clicked on click we want to do java script shorten link and that should be fine so let's try it and we're going to click shorten and nothing happens again. Let's go and look at the source and see what it says. Uh, 
see if there's any errors and this time there is it's ah spelling error and let's try again Firefox is a really good tool for debugging if you ever want to get that window up you press control shift and J and it opens up and tells you errors or warnings or whatever this one I've never seen before expected line 7 let's have a look hmm I don't know what that's telling me oh well but yeah I normally just keep on the errors one let's try again And there we go, okay, it's all fine, and hopefully it will insert itself into here. And yes, it did. So we know it's inserting. Now, that was just for debugging purposes. We want it to look nice and professional, so we aren't going to have that. We want to add maybe a parameter tag, not parameter, a um, paragraph tag even. And we'll ID it. Um, return statement now if everything went fine we know we're going to have um, jQuery return statement dot html we're going to insert our own the link long link has been short and to now I forgot one crucial bit of this we haven't added to the database oh we'll use the ID that that looks fine but we need to return that ID so we want to go onto add link and then when that's done we will have Squirrel equals no squirrel get ID equals select all well select ID from shorten link where link equals link and for the sake of it we'll have limit as one because there might be multiple entries of the same link in our thing but we'll just pass out I suppose we could test to see if there's a one of them in the database already but to be honest there's not much point unless you're running a really busy um, service so if squirrel if my squirrel query squirrel get ID goes okay Actually, we didn't want to do that 